Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I've got a Isaac playthrough here for you. Hopefully a successful one. So I'm not touching the blue baby. No, I'm thinking about making it even worse. Let's do an Eve run. She has a lot of speed, but it's a sincere, uh, a disgraceful low damage and of course health. Well, not as bad as the blue baby, I suppose, but... Uh, it's definitely up there. I think that uh, that Eve might actually be worse than the blue baby. In a way. Um, and Well, actually, that's not true. I think Eve is still a bit better considering, but... It really depends on what items you're gonna get. Because if you're not gonna get the items that complement... Especially the Whore of Babylon. For example, if you get an early guppy spawn, you're pretty much set for life. If you don't get hit too much. You can get a lot of soul hearts. And you have permanent uh, Whore of Babylon on. Which is a nice speed upgrade and a nice damage upgrade. So entirely the passive side of Eve that you start off with, the base stats, are directly fixed, if you will. And I start off with a, oh, a nice follower, brother, uh, brother Bobby. Not really all that uh, amazing, to be honest. But uh, as Eve, you can't really complain by anything that you get that may help you out. So getting a nice key here as well. Unfortunately, I can't grab the Jester. Let's just see if I can actually... Oh, I regret everything in life itself now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to move away from him. In the hope that I can get away from the straw bombs in time. And maybe make some room! Oh boy. For me to move in. Alright. We are slowly but steadily gathering more holes to move in. Damn troll bombs. And as you can see, the damage really not all that much. Oh, sir, sir, please. Think of the children. Oh god, I'm gonna hit. Nope, I made it. Oh god, now I'm gonna get hit. Nope, still made it. How is this even a thing? There we go, now I'm hit. Now the bird is out as well, so I think I'm pretty good. The bird will do more damage than I probably can in this stage. That's okay, though. I'm just gonna stand here and hit him, hopefully, as he moves back and forth. And I'll hopefully avoid those bombs as well. We're almost there, bird. Take it away. Not like about now would be good. Thank you. So that was a bit of a rough thing. Because the only thing I really got from it was a bomb and two keys. Now I can, however, trade the bomb out for another bomb. And a chance on a good golden chest. Well, it wasn't too bad. Definitely worth it. Um, however, I think it's time for me to actually go down to the basement level 2. Or first the boss. I do get a soul heart if I'm not mistaken from this particular fight. Which is good. Very nice. I'm contemplating about placing a bomb somewhere. But I think I'm good. I'm just gonna use the brother Bobby right here to my advantage. As you can see, I'm doing decent damage. Nothing particularly uh, spectacular. But it's good enough to get this boss out, assuming they don't uh, face plant me anytime soon. As they were planning on doing, but it looks like it. Just to see if I can go up here. There we go. The first starts to evap evaporate. That's the second one. And we get the soul heart. And we get a box. Not really that good. Get full health though, so. We have that safety, but we do get monies. Almost enough money even to get to the shop and justify going there. Unfortunately, doesn't appear to be the case that I am actually able to do that. Let's pick up the matchstick. Is this a good pill? Let's just go for it. It's a tears up. Definitely worth it. Maybe we can get lucky. Doesn't look like we're going to get lucky though. I'm gonna lucky. I'm just gonna drop the bomb here. Get a heart of it. Nothing's particular. I was hoping for maybe a few soul hearts or maybe a nice trinket or a card, but my luck never really uh, shines, if you will. All right, here we go. Thinking about checking that curse room. Do I want to do that? I'm just gonna check the item room because you never know. Maybe you get an item that allows you to do go through there without too much of a problem. But I'm getting an attack fly. Which is really not an amazing item. Yes, it is amazing if you know how to use it and if you can use it uh, properly. It is said that you know how to move. But yeah, we're gonna check the curse room. And we get a dead cat. Nine lives. As you can see, I couldn't even react to that. But yeah, we have nine lives right now. Not too shabby, I suppose, uh, considering the state of life that we are in. Uh, we have the chance to make some mistakes then and still continue forward. Problem, however, is that I have to make sure. Alright. Alright, that works. Yeah, somebody told me in the comments of my video that if you place a bomb and walk back out, the explosion is bigger. So you can actually hit more stuff. As you can see. 
So we have pretty much everything. I don't think we are going to hit a shop anytime soon. It will be a maybe, maybe we'll hit a shop here down there. Oh, we will hit a shop. And there's also a grey rock. So I'm definitely happy that, I'm, I, that I did decide to go down. Unfortunately, I did get hit there. I didn't see it in time. So we only have one and a half heart left. Make that two and a half. And a bomb. Maybe we can find some more coins. Who knows? Maybe we're lucky. I don't expect myself to be lucky. I really wish that I, uh, you know, find a, a poly or a, a sacred heart. Why not both? That would be so helpful right now. <laughs> Probably uh, carry run enabled that as well. Because pretty much those are the best items in the game. Uh, or actual upgrades, I suppose. Uh, beyond uh, Mom's Knight and uh, Epic Feeders, for example. God damn, that hurts. We're good, though. We're good. The bird will do some serious damage right here. Without forcing myself into to a bit of a nasty situation. Do get a key out of it. And the secret room. Which does lead myself to a... Uh... There you go. Quite happy that I found that secret room. I was actually not going to check for the secret room. Because I was uh, attempting to save my bomb for whatever boss we're going to get. And we get the Bible though. Uh, book, not the book of, Re uh, book of Bible. Uh, the book of Bible. Wow. Not the Bible. The book of Revelations. Would give me a soul heart. And the chance of a possible... Um, Horseman fight. My bad, it was the book of Revelations. If you use it, I believe you get an increased chance of one of the horsemen. Now, I could really use a, uh, a Meat Boy level 2. So, we'll see what we're going to get here. It is indeed a horseman. Very good. Alright. Let's just burn him down, hopefully, fast. As you can see, it takes bloody ages for me to actually get it down. I got hit there. I think that my uh, knockback of my tier actually... Uh, Made him go diagonal a little bit. A bit rough, but I have my bird up. My bird is up and running. The damage is quite sufficient. I only have to dodge right now. The bird does sufficient damage, but I'm gonna stay in a range and just spam into his general direction and then just bring him down without too much of a fuss. We get a devil room as well. Cube of meat. We have nine lives, so we can take all the items and we get Guppy Spall. Wonderful, because now I think the Horror Battle is going to be enabled permanently. And we have Brimstone. I'm going to take it. I have no health right now, but I have 9 lives. Which, which means if I die, I get a heart. So I'm going to try not to die, clearly. But uh, I can Brim Snap. As many of you know. The charge rate is quite acceptable. So I'm not going to have a problem with that. There you go. Brim Snap for days. This rune, uh, rune, this run may actually turn out to be just fine, assuming I don't get hit. Which is actually quite uh, difficult to do, as I say that I forgot that they were shooting diagonal. But I have a heart, guppy spa, boom! I directly will have a permanent horror of Babylon as well, and a lot more health to go around with, which I'm totally fine with. Alright, I'm just gonna charge this up, burn him down, check this uh, the item room, and we get Ghost Baby. Um, as you can see, they shoot one that shoots spectral tears, one shoots regular tears, so there is definite potential there for damage output. But let's be honest, you would rather have damage output for yourself and not for your followers. But who knows, maybe we do a, uh, a Brim Snap follow companion orbital run. New meta, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with it, see what we can do. But the main thing we should do probably is not get hit and walk into enemies. I think that's a, a general consensus that being a good thing for pretty much everybody involved. But we have a lot of health left, so we can make some mistakes. I don't want to make mistakes though, because that does sacrifice hearts. And if I do find myself a, a, a heart up and such, uh, it would be unfortunate if we have to waste that. Like a part of me doesn't want to get high, uh, hearts up. I want to just get. I just want to get a carry run based on damage, glass cannon, if you will. Because right now that would be a lot more effective. The reason, like if I could not pick up, uh, if I had the chance of not picking up the dead cat, if you will, I probably would have done it. Uh, because I had more health. Well, I should, no, I, I probably would have picked it up. But if I had more health, I would not pick it up because it would reduce my health. But it gives me more life, you know, it's, it's a trade-off. I would not make it if I had more health. Oh, uh, another horseman. That... Meat Boy coming out of way. as you can see my Brimstab is doing a lot of damage. You can see him getting hit multiple times, which is the wonderful uh, side effect. Not even the side effect, that's a wonderful glitch of the Brimstab. Even if you have low damage, you can do massive damage. Because you're not hitting him once, you're hitting him multiple times with the same beam. So that's my level 2 cube of meat right here. And we're gonna go down. Now I've got a, one of the best orbitals in the game, the only one that is, 
yeah, it really supports us at the Guardian Angel. Alright, let's go back out. Alright, as you can see, I have pretty, pretty decent uh, charge rate, if I say so myself. So I'm quite happy with that, to say the least. There we go. Alright, let's bring him down. Oh, chill out. There we go. That's a bomb. Should have charged my laser there. That's okay, though. That's okay. We can deal. Alright. Not really care for that particular item, but that's okay. Come on, ghosts. There we go. I'm getting a chunk of money. Maybe we can enter the shop this floor. That would be very lovely. As you can see, the power of the brim snap in action. Get full health. What do we have? Nothing. Nothing. Come on, game. Give me some carry items. I would love a sacred heart. You know, a pulley. Maybe a uh, guardian angel, you know, the, the basic stuff, okay? The basic stuff, because if I want to get up to Isaac again, I need three orbitals. Otherwise, I'm going to have a bad time. Alright, but we have a, we have a decent foundation. Uh, we, have the, we have the speed, we have the charge. We just need more damage and uh, maybe some orbitals. And I would be happy. That's all I really want for Christmas, if you will. wait there a little bit so I could actually avoid through the top side normally in, the, in rooms like this by followers like that maybe the green one or the red ones I usually get dunked quite aggressively as well so we do have a curse room here I'm actually contemplating to check it out because I need everything that I can get right now two pills uh, let's take them and eat them what is this health up well thank you let's do a quick uh, Guppy Spall right there, and we find ourselves in a relatively easy fight. You just have to watch out for the other explosions, because as you can see, the brimstone set makes it actually quite easy, but then again, you can also use the bombs against them. Get a nice soul heart out of it as well, so it's alright. Getting mom's coin purse. Do I want to take it though? I'm gonna go for the balls of steel! I found pills and I ate them. This is gonna be a negative pill. Hold it! And I found pills. I'm gonna eat all the pills. I'm just I'm just hungry like that. That's okay though. Um oh. Oh, that's 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 mean. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's too good. The damage that I need is too good for that. That's okay though. That's a lot of so hard sacrifice, but I needed the damage. And I think that with the brimstone the damage will help me out more than anything else. There we go. Let's charge up. We are in Necropolis, so we have to be careful. You know, the mask could show up any moment, which would be a rather unfortunate side effect of this particular form, but that's okay. There we go, just burn him down. Take it slow, not become greedy, and we should be just fine. We have three followers shooting, uh, we have one orbital shooting, and um, then we have one orbital, two followers shooting. So we even put out a little damage if we are just charging our brimstones, that's okay. Nice, two soul hearts. Thank you, game. You, you see my problem, and you grant me what I need. A little bit, besides giving me one of the most horrible rooms in the game. Uh, because of all the, the green explosions. Luckily enough, I might be able to avoid most of them. Uh, I always hate when I do that. Like, they, they, just, they just have to add a few more shots when everybody is dead at the end of the room. I hate that. Getting a nice chunk of money. And mom's bra. I'm gonna take it. Mom's bra is too good. It is. It freezes everybody. I don't know. I could always go back for the guppy spot if I do find myself some kind of level up. I do also have, of course, the full. So I can teleport out whenever I need. Mom's bra. I'm a, I'm a boss fight with a high damage brimstone. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. There we go. Nice explosion used against them. Alright, just one more, should be no problem. Let's see what the challenge room has to say. A golden chest, I'll take that. There we go. Come on, one more. It's the Joker. Not bad. Could definitely do something with that. Like this. Oh, really game. Really? This is what you do to me? I could pick up 
uh, the cat to maybe become Guppy. That would be funny. I know I pretty much sacrificed all my stuff for that. Uh, all my swords again, but I, I, if I can get a chance to become Guppy with E, that pretty much sets me on a, uh, a road to not fail, if you will. There we go. Like, my followers are so powerful, they don't, they don't even need my help. Oh, Buttlucker's, Buttlucker's too good. I almost got killed right there. I am Guppy? I am Guppy. Oh, Guppy, worth it. I thought I needed one more item. Apparently, I needed not. That's okay with me. I am not gonna have any kind of- Oh, I could fly, of course. I can fly. I forgot about that. I'm Guppy, guys. Eve's Guppy. Uh, I'm a female cat, yo. Oh, god damn it. This is the problem that I'm gonna have. Uh, with, of course, the fact with these green rooms. There we go. Just to avoid them. With no health like that. God, I hate these green explosions. You're not even good, man. You're just uh, using massive explosions. All right, here we go. Charge up. Yeah, how about a charge to the face? There we go. Look at them flies go. Look at them flies go. You couldn't even do anything. And that's the way of the guppy. And the brimstone. And the health. So I'm going to lose my whore of Babylon right here. Unless. Unless. Will I need the whore of Babylon? Will I need it, though? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to the item room. I'm gonna pick up the guppy's paw. I'm gonna use it twice. We'll have six soul hearts. And we're gonna have a good time. I think we will. Actually, I might wanna check for a secret room, actually, because I could also check out the shop still. Please be there. Thank you. You've got to be bloody kidding me, lads! What's up with this? Uh. No, I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm not. I don't wanna pick it up. I think that the brimstone is too good. They're just taunting me now. There we go. I could actually check up still on the high ground. Maybe get some uh, money out of there. This is just one of those runs once again. That I just don't know how to respond to. It's... it's it, they're just, this is just, an ins this is becoming an insane run. This is probably my greatest run with Eve yet. That's all I have to say about it. Um, nothing there. No, I'm not going to pick up the, uh, could check out the curse room. Maybe there's something good in there. If you have enough hearts, it's usually worth it to change, uh, to charge, to go for the curse room if you know what you're doing. Because, as you can see, getting, um... One more slot because I actually had to sacrifice one to get in there. Actually, no, a half because I'm flying. So I actually got one and a half heart out of that. I'll take that as a win. Here we go. With the power of Guppy on my side, I do not fear, apparently. I have so many flies with me. I wonder if actually my followers are generating flies as well. I don't know if they are. But I do not. It's just the, uh, the massive brimstone spam that's doing it. I actually think I can take Isaac like this. You know, freeze him. Start spamming like crazy. We're gonna have a good time, I think. Alright. There we go. Yeah, this is... I'm gonna try and make this my craziest Eve run yet. Alright. Find the item room here. Mom's pad. Nope. I don't necessarily like uh, pads myself. I can understand that for women they are a requirement, but I don't bleed for seven days and die, so I don't need that. Let's just go up to the, uh, to the of course, the shop and find treats. That's okay, though. That's okay. There we go. Get nice money out of it. Nothing else, but maybe we can find an arcade on top. Definitely find ourselves a sword. That's worth it. Oh wait, I don't even have to bomb it. I'm flying. I keep forgetting that I'm flying, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, why not? It could uh, come in handy later. And it's not like uh, this is going to be hard as nails to do anyway. Not a very nice boss in this room, but uh, I've seen worse. 
Go fly, take him down. Flies, do your job, thank you. There's a key, got some money. There you go. Let's just go to the boss, I think I'm pretty good. This is probably my most, yeah, this is definitely, well, no, it could be, I think we can make it sicker if we get some more orbitals um, and more damage, clearly, because the charge rate is okay, I think. Yeah, the charge rate is just fine. Add that with brimstone. Blue mom, no! I am not gonna deal with a blue mom. I am sorry, lads, but I'm not gonna do it. There we go. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, is why mom's bra is wonderful. Getting a magic eight ball, which just tears up, and the sun, which is okay with me. Let's use the sun right there. I exactly know where the bar, uh, where, the, where of course the fight is. There we go. I'm gonna have so many tears coming at my face uh, in the icing fight if I, if I don't freeze him. Ooh, I could gamble here. Let's see if I can grab some cheap orbitals. Maybe some soul hearts. Maybe more bombs even. That would be okay. Guess it's just gonna be a uh, bomb then. Here we go. I'm sorry lad, but uh, not today. All my followers are doing massive work on him. There we go, getting another cube of meat. Do I want to do this? Do I want to get the cube of meat going? I am gonna go. Meat boy, welcome to the club. I hope you will enjoy your stay. If I'm gonna put a bomb, I'm gonna have a nightmare though. And there's the arcade. Let's touch it. Let's see if I can get a nice, uh, maybe a nice, um, yeah, we could do cancer. Yeah. Maybe we get a horn, it would be nice. If that can actually drop from that particular uh, fortune teller. Yeah, two diamonds, why not? That money's though. Too good. I'm actually not gonna sacrifice you, so I'm gonna blow you up. Nice! <laughs> Too good. Um, ooh. But no. Magician. Totally worth it. Homing, well, homing brimstone, guys. If that only was a thing. Alright, come on. Could give me Scatoli. I'm, I'm a nice princess. Look, I don't even look too bad considering. All right, come on. Could do this for days, lad. Just give me this Scatoli. That's all you need to do. Just give me the Scatoli. Just, you're just trolling me. You know I don't need hearts, right? You know what? I have had it with you, lad. Get out of here. Stupid troll. I'm also not gonna spend days to, in the arcade because this is a YouTube video. I don't wanna bore you all to death, now, do I? Ooh, challenge room. Ah, no. <laughs> Would have been nice if I still was using tears. <laughs> Meat boy! Power of the meat, lads. Let's do it! Look at them flies, holy hell! Flat penny? Nope. I have no need for that anymore. Go flies! Man, if I had one more damage up, that would be amazing. Ooh, I'm gonna take this card. This is gonna be wonderful. It gives me actually two opportunities to basically do massive damage to Isaac. Uh, without too much issue. Assuming I want to keep it though. That meat boy is hugging him. Hugging him like a friend. Because I can use the chariot then. To become invulnerable and do damage. And I can on top of that also use mom's bra. To do some serious damage. Here we go. But first, the heart.
this is kind of the problem that we had. As you can see, I've got two people that attack now, Meat Boy and my uh, bird. But as you can see, Meat Boy actually kicks away your bombs if you do it wrong. The Razor! Bought out of the luck yet. Ooh, you ever got a double room? Which is still the same thing. Uh, yeah, let's go to Isaac. Get a heart there. So I lose my uh, Whore of Babylon, unfortunately. That's okay, though. We can deal. Damage, even, though, even though the damage is really pathetic right now. <laughs> Wish I didn't pick it up now. I hate this guy. You know what? Fine, I'm just gonna freeze your face. Can I actually do damage then to you? I can't do damage to you because I freeze you at a wrong moment in time. All my flies are like, wait, what are we supposed to do now, sir? Sir, what are we do what are we doing, sir? I'm just getting hit constantly. There we go. Really wish I knew where Isaac was. Go meat boy! Go meat boy! Go 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 meat boy! <laughs> I got, I, I'm just, I got greedy, like, I didn't, I, I didn't think that I would lose my Whore of Babylon, which is a nice buff, such a nice buff, especially with my build, it, I was able, to, I was going to be able to keep it up, but I was stupid enough to take that, I didn't think, and also Meat Boy, he has been causing me more pain so far than anything else, because he started to kick the bombs around the mob, so I can't use bombs really all that effectively around Isaac either. Two Isaacs, though. That would be fun. Again? Alright, there we go. Getting a nice soul heart out of that. Ah, nice. The fight that we have been waiting for. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait. Why am I running in circles? I got brimstone. I thought that Meat Boy was one of the enemies. Wow. Alright guys, moment of truth, here we go. Tears. Touch them. Ah, uh, this is gonna get nasty though. Because I, I I don't have any orbitals because I sacrificed my orbitals to make me boy. I made him a follower. Nice bomb. Alright, if I just like move around, I can win this because me boy is doing it for me, but I also have the bird now with me. Oh, I don't want to die! Alright, armor, come on, go, go, go! Ah, sacrificial life has appeared in the basement. I thought I had it! Oh well, fair enough. There we go, guys. Bit clumsy, but this is by far the greatest Eve run that I've had, courtesy of, of course, Guppy and my team of uh, precious followers right there. Flies, birds, meat boy, brother Bobby, dead goat, I don't know. Here we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Eve run. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Check me out on the Twitch as I am live every day. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.